First, we perform this multiplication, 12 over 8 multiplied by 8. The 8s cancel each other out, and only 12 remains. At the end, 12 divided by 12 gives us 1, and 1 is our final answer. But this answer is not correct, because we did not follow one of the most important rules of mathematics. This rule is called the order of operations. You are probably thinking to yourself right now, what is the order of operations, to find the answer to this question, stay with me. To understand the concept of the order of operations, consider this example, 6 minus 6 times 6 plus 6. Three people want to solve this problem. The first person first calculates 6 minus 6, which becomes 0. Then they multiply 0 by 6, which becomes 0. Finally, they calculate 0 plus 6, reaching the answer 6. The second person first calculates 6 times 6, which becomes 36. And the expression turns into 6 minus 36 plus 6. Then they calculate 6 minus 36, which becomes negative 30. Finally, they calculate negative 30 plus 6, reaching the final answer negative 24. The last person first calculates 6 minus 6, which becomes 0. Then they calculate 6 plus 6, which becomes 12. Finally, they multiply 0 by 12, reaching the answer 0. Now, in your opinion, which answer is correct, 6, negative 24, or 0, write it in the comments. This is where the order of operations becomes important. If everyone starts calculating mathematical expressions from wherever they like, different answers will be obtained, and mathematics becomes disorganized. Let's move on to what the order of operations is. What is the order of operations, when a mathematical expression contains several different operations, such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, exponents, roots, and parentheses, these operations must be performed in a specific order to reach the correct answer. Mathematicians, in order to prevent disorder in mathematics, agreed on a universal rule called the correct order of operations. This rule is known by a short and simple expression called PEMDAS. In some countries, it is also referred to as BOMDAS or BIMDAS. P stands for parentheses, and B stands for brackets. E stands for exponents, while O stands for orders, and I stands for indices. M and D stand for multiplication and division. And A and S stand for addition and subtraction. According to PEMDAS, we first calculate the parentheses, then we calculate the exponents, after the exponents we perform the multiplications and divisions, and finally we do the additions and subtractions. Multiplication and division have equal priority, so whenever both appear in an expression, move from left to right and perform whichever you reach first. This rule also applies to addition and subtraction. With these explanations, let's solve a few examples to fully understand and learn PEMDAS, but before we start solving the examples. If you have enjoyed this video so far, like the video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next videos, and if you have any questions, ask them in the comments, and I will definitely answer them. First example. 12 minus 8 times 12 minus 8, according to PEMDAS, we first calculate the parenthesis. 12 minus 8 gives us 4. And the expression becomes 12 minus 8 times 4. Note that whenever a number is next to parentheses, it means multiplying that number by the expression inside the parentheses, however, usually, the multiplication sign is omitted for simplicity. Now, in this expression, we have a subtraction and a multiplication. Since multiplication has a higher priority, we perform it first. 8 times 4 gives us 32. Finally, we calculate 12 minus 32, which gives negative 20, so, negative 20 is our final answer. Let's move on to the second example. 
6 minus 6 times 6 plus 6, in this expression, we have a subtraction, a multiplication, and an addition, multiplication has a higher priority than addition and subtraction. So we first calculate 6 times 6, which gives 36. And the expression becomes 6 minus 36 plus 6. Now, we have both subtraction and addition. Moving from left to right, we first encounter the subtraction, 6 minus 36 gives negative 30. Finally, negative 30 plus 6 gives negative 24, and negative 24 is our final answer. Let's move on to the third example. 3 plus 4 times, 4 minus 2, divided by 2 squared. According to PEMDAS, we first calculate the parentheses. 4 minus 2 gives us 2. Next, we calculate the exponent, 2 squared gives us 4. And the expression becomes 3 plus 4 times 2 divided by 4. In this expression, we now have an addition, a multiplication, and a division. Multiplication and division have a higher priority than addition, since multiplication and division have equal priority, we move from left to right, calculating whichever comes first. Here, we first do the multiplication, 4 times 2 gives us 8. Then 8 divided by 4 gives 2. Finally, 3 plus 2 gives 5. Now, let's solve the question from the beginning of the video, but before solving it, Please like the video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next videos. 12 divided by 12 over 8 multiplied by 8. In this expression, we have both multiplication and division. If we move from left to right, we first encounter the division, so we perform it first, 12 divided by 12 over 8. To solve this part of the question, we use the KCF rule. K stands for keep, C stands for change, and F stands for flip. Here's how it works. Keep the first number as it is, change the division sign to multiplication, flip the second number, take its reciprocal. Therefore, our expression 12 divided by 12 over 8 becomes 12 times 8 over 12. The 12s cancel each other out, leaving only 8. Finally, 8 times 8 gives 64, and 64 is our final answer. Based on what you have learned in this video, write the answer to this question in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, like the video, if you have any questions, ask them in the comments, and I will definitely answer. Share it with your friends. And subscribe to the channel.